What about Josip Ilicic? Because <laughs> although that game at, at Valencia was behind closed yeah. doors again and all of that, but for him at 32 years of age to go out like this in a in a Champions League last 16 second leg and okay the game was pretty much won we would say after the first leg but still and score four goals it's just incredible isn't it? It's I mean the whole the whole thing the whole Atlanta story is crazy. I've got a I, I wrote a piece about this afterwards about how. This really shouldn't work. It shouldn't work for a hundred and one different reasons. It shouldn't be in this position. Um, you know, normally when you have underdog stories, and this is a tremendous underdog story, normally you have outstanding individuals who are going to go to the next level. Honestly, apart from maybe Robin Goosens, and you know how excited you're going to get yeah, a twenty-five exactly. year old German fullback. Um, none of these guys are going to another level. You know, their race is run. Yeah. And what I love is, you know, you think of Ilicic and Papu Gomez. Those are two guys who throughout their career, people people looked at Ilicic and says, eh, yeah, okay, you got strict. Kill, got you got left foot. But, but yeah. you know what? You don't have the personality for it. You know, you're flaky. There's a whole tradition of, since we love stereotyping in football, there's a whole tradition of tall East European yeah. types with whose names end in ick. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, look, let's face it. It's the same knock that Slatan Ibrahimovic had for the first 10 years. Yeah, of course. You know, but before he became the Wolfman or whatever he is, you know. And Illich is just showing that, you know what, this is my level. After being, nobody believing in his, just, they always recognize his talent, but they didn't believe he had the personality yeah. or the cojones to go and make this work. Papu Gomez, who I think is a phenomenal player. Yeah, I agree. Too small. The guy's, the guy's smaller than Messi, you know. He won his first cap for Argentina two years ago. Do you know some of the absolute muppets <laughs> who've gotten caps for Argentina in the last couple of years? The guy had to wait until he was 32 years old, passed over by every big team time and again yeah. because he's too little. I know. Um, there's so many wonderful stories like that in, in Atalante. It really kind of is a collection of wave strays, no names, um, people who had shots at bigger clubs and then were sent back, mm -hmm. like, like Duvan Zapata. Like Mario Pasalic, who technically I think is still a Chelsea player. Um, <laughs> yeah, after uh, like 25 loans. Or <laughs> yeah, I know. I, it's tremendous. And since I know you like your social media, of course, this is a team that has not one, but two players who have recorded successful uh, music videos. Yeah. Um, and you can choose which one you like. Because, of course, Papu Gomez has his Papu dance, yeah. which is extremely catchy. And, uh, and Golini, the goalkeeper, um, has his own slightly probably more traditional old school, old school. rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it's pretty sweet. It's and pretty Gasperini, a well on Gasperini because he's he's the architect right of everything. And you know, I know Papu Gomez and Ilicic are hitting their peak now thirty two when maybe nobody expected it, but he's the guy who's put not just that team together, but also the philosophy, the style of play, which is but a very it's, high intense It's critical. Look, nobody plays like this in Europe. Nobody. Nobody certainly no team with with this talent, yeah. plays like that. No, but you know they understand a very basic concept that even if if I create one on one battles all over the pitch, even if you're better than me, it's not such a bad thing if I have the one on one. Conceding a one on one with an average defender against a very good striker in the open field, which you know most clubs say, oh no, that's terrible. Mm, yeah, you know you look at the numbers. It's actually difficult to beat a player and get your shot off and score. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the advantage that you get at the other pitch, at the other other end of the pitch, makes it worth it. Um, I think it's tremendous. I think they, they've they've scored against. People say, "Oh, they haven't played that many great defenses." Well, they've scored against every big team they faced this season, from Manchester City to to Juventus to to the other teams in Serie A. So, I think it's um, I think it's just a wonderful story, and um, I hope we get to see them. Yeah again this season and, and also for Bergamo who's one of the, the region the most hit by, Bergamo, by the virus yeah. in, back in Italy Absolutely. he must give a lot, people a lot of love and, and hope as well well thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming premium content and let's not forget as well ESPN FC seven days a week subscribe to ESPN Plus